It's week 16 in the NFL, and we give you our three best bets, including our bet of the year, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandSamBetters.com, and Merry Christmas to everyone. We have three more of our best bets for you for this Sunday, but first, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our NFL picks and predictions all season long. While you're at it, smash that like button to help wish everyone a Merry Christmas. But without further ado, let's dive in to our best bets of NFL Week 16. And with our first pick of NFL Week 16, we're going to look at the NFC South matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. Kickoff for this game's at 1 p.m. Eastern. Bucks favored by 10 in this one, and the over-under is set at 43. Now, both these teams are coming off losses last week. Uh, with a loss this week, the Carolina Panthers season would basically be over. Cam Newton gave them sparks a few weeks ago against the Cardinals, but since then, he has looked like the same player that we saw last year in New England. He's only completing 54% of his passes and has thrown only four touchdowns, and he's had four interceptions. He still maintains, though, the ability to run the ball and has rushed for five touchdowns since his return, but they are going up against a very good rush defense in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Bucs only given up 89 rushing yards per game, and linebackers White and Barrett are both very quick and have should have no problem limiting the threat of Newton rushing the ball in this one. Now, as we mentioned, Newton has struggled to throw the ball, and if the run game is stifled by the Buccaneers, the offense is going to have a very long day. Panthers have only put up 16 points per game in their last four games, and if they cannot get some sort of balance going offensively to threaten this Bucks defense, that trend will most likely continue. Now, on the other side of the ball, the Buccaneers offense took some major blows last week as they lost to the Saints, actually were shut out by the Saints. They lost Mike Evans in that game. He's been ruled out for this Sunday. They also lost Chris Godwin to an ACL tear. He's done for the season. And running back Leonard Fournette also left the game with a hamstring injury and has been placed on the IR. Now, they still have a solid running back in Ronald Jones, who they are most likely going to have to rely on as they are going to go up against the 20th ranked rush defense in the league. The Bucs, though, did bring back Antonio Brown, and him and Gronk are probably going to be Brady's favorite targets for the next couple of weeks with all the injuries. The Panthers, they do have the best secondary, or the second best secondary in the NFL, only giving up 178 passing yards per game. So it's not a good time for the Buccaneers to be without their two best wide receivers, but they still have that guy named Tom Brady and uh, several other playmakers on offense, so they probably won't get shut out for a second week in a row uh, like they did against the Saints. But with how many injuries they have, their offense should continue to struggle a bit against one of the better defenses in the NFL. On the other side of the ball, you also have a struggling offense behind Cam Newton. Tampa Bay most likely going to dial up pressure on Newton to make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket. That might lead to a turnover or two or three, knowing Newton. Uh, with how aggressive both of these defenses have been this season and the strengths lining up exactly with the opposing offensive strengths, we do not see this game turning into a shootout. So with our first pick of NFL Week 16, we're going to take the Bucks panthers under 43. Now with the second pick of NFL Week 16, we're going to look at the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots in the 1 p.m. time slot. This is going to be our bet of the year for grandstand bettors. Patriots here, they're two-point favorites. The over-under set at 43.5. And, and this is a rematch from three weeks ago where the Patriots beat the Bills 14-10 in windy conditions. Another win this week against the Bills would give the Patriots the AFC East. Josh Allen and the Bills are coming off a decisive victory against the Panthers, which we just spoke of. They won 31-14 last week. And Allen, who's nearing 4,000 yards on the season, has 31 touchdowns and a 65% completion rate. However, last time against these Patriots, Allen only went 15-30 for 145 yards passing. The entire Bills offense really relies on Josh Allen 
Although Singletary hasn't been horrible in the rushing game. The guy averages 4.7 yards per carry. The problem is they only go to him about 9.6 times per game. The Bills, they pass uh, much more than they rush the ball, and they are fifth most uh, in passing attempts in the NFL. That's really led them to be top 10 in scoring offense, total yards, passing yards, and first downs per game. They will, however, be going up against the third best secondary in the NFL, and as we alluded to, the Patriots absolutely shut them down last time out. This could be a great opportunity for the Bills to lean on Singletary and utilize Allen's legs to help move the chains as the Patriots are giving up 120 yards on the ground per game. Now, speaking of those Patriots, they're coming off a loss last week to the Colts. And finally, Matt Jones looked like a rookie quarterback. He went 26 of 45 in that game. Overall, though, if you're a Patriots fan, you have to be thrilled with how Jones has played so far this season with over 300 passing yards. He's led the Patriots to first place, and there's only three weeks left in the season, and you have a chance to beat the Bills to win the AFC East. One of the reasons, though, that Matt Jones has been so successful has been their rushing attack and Damian Harris. However, with Harris out last week, it was clear that without that rushing attack, the offense could struggle behind Jones. Now, Harris this week is questionable, but unfortunately, Stevenson is out. So their offense is going to have to lean on the arm of Matt Jones in this one. And he's going to be facing the best secondary in the NFL, Buffalo Bills, only giving up 175 yards per game through the air. And the last time that these two teams played, Matt Jones threw the ball three times for 19 yards, and they still won the game. However, as we alluded to, windy conditions in Buffalo last time around. So... What's our best bet of the year? Well, Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen, they've been very hard to predict this season up and down with their offense, but they have a ton of weapons that they can utilize. On the other side of the field, Matt Jones, without a rushing attack, he threw the ball 45 times last week. And you have to think, without a rushing attack, maybe this week he's going to have to throw for another 35-40 for them to have a chance to win this game. Listen, honestly, you can make the argument that the unders uh, in divisional games in December, that's going to come in. But especially against when you have top three secondaries in both teams here. But this game, it's a huge one for both teams. Buffalo could actually miss the playoffs if they lose this game. And we think the passing game comes true here uh, for the Bills in this one. Field conditions for this game, much more different than last time around. It should be in the 40s, maybe even the 50s. Uh, at Gillette Stadium here, and the wind will be under six miles per hour. So, our best bet of the year for grandstand betters, Week 16, Bills Patriots over 43 and a half. With our final pick of NFL Week 16, we're going to look at the Denver Broncos versus the Las Vegas Raiders in the 4:25 p.m. Eastern time slot. The over/under for this one set at 45, and the game is at a pick'em. Essentially, this is a playoff game for both teams. Whoever loses this game essentially knocked out of playoff contention, so it is a big game. Broncos come into this one uh, after losing a heartbreaker against the Bengals. Not only did they lose the game, but they lost their QB, Teddy Bridgewater, in the process. Drew Locke will start in his place this week, and whether it's Bridgewater or Locke under center, this team is going to stay the course and run the football as their game plan. They do rank in the top 10 in rushing yards per game, but... Other than that, offensively, they're in the bottom half of the league in every other category. Williams and Gordon have nearly 1,600 yards rushing combined on the season and 10 touchdowns. With the Raiders having the 8th worst rush defense and Locke having to QB this game, you would think that they're going to lean heavily on the run in this one. Now this Raider team, they come in with a little bit of momentum after winning 16-14 on a last-minute field goal over the Cleveland Browns on Monday night after that game was moved from Saturday due to COVID. Derek Carr, who didn't look great in this game, ended up getting the job done late and manufacturing that game-winning drive for the Raiders. Carr, who has thrown for over 4,000 yards, continues to look like a different QB this year. And Hunter Renfro, who should end up with over 100 receptions and 1,000 yards on the season, has helped this Vegas offense become the third best passing offense in the NFL. Now, they do face a very good secondary with the Broncos only giving up 212 yards per game. But if memory serves us correct, the Raiders 
torched the Broncos in their earlier matchup this season with 34 points, and Carr had 340 yards passing with two touchdowns in that one. With the Denver uh, Broncos just about having a top 10 rushing defense and Josh Jacobs and company really struggling to move the ball on the ground, we expect the Raiders to lean towards the pass this time around. So what's our best bet here in the AFC West matchup? Well, the Broncos, they're going to have to lean on Drew Locke and hope he can do something with the football to move the chains. But nothing all year in his limited time that he's been playing has shown us that he can be a reliable QB in the league. The Raiders, although they have not had a great second half of the season, they have better weapons on offense than the Broncos do. And playing against a bad QB in Locke should be an easy win for the Raiders. So with our final pick of NFL Week 16, we're going to take the Las Vegas Raiders over the Denver Broncos. Now, we will be live streaming the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals game on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Join us live for some more AFC North drama. In the meantime, we're on Patreon. Go ahead and check out our Patreon. The link's below in the description. $6.99 a month gets you a member pick each and every day. While you're at it, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com. Check us out, become part of our family, and start living that grandstand life. But as always, sit back, relax, enjoy NFL Week 16, and we'll see you soon.